Here's a situation. You have two websites. The visitor lands on the first website. The URL contains UTM parameters. Then the visitor has to go to the second website and submit the form there. The form is created to automatically fetch UTM parameters from the URL. But UTMs are gone. They disappeared after the visitor went from one site to another. What can you do? You can transfer UTM parameters. Let me show you how to do that. Here I have a demo page and in the URL I have UTM parameters. In this case, there are two of them. And also here is a link. If I click that link, I will be redirected to another domain. Now, if you're working with Google Analytics and you care about session attribution and you have configured cross-domain tracking, then Google Analytics should handle this automatically. But maybe you're dealing with some other situation where you somehow want to transfer the UTM parameters from one domain to another domain. Because normally, if I just click this link, what you will notice is that UTMs are no longer here. The domain has changed. Luckily, this can be solved, for example, with custom JavaScript code. Below this video, you will find a link to a blog post. And inside that blog post, there is a code snippet that looks like this. So you should copy this code. And soon I will explain what it does. So now just copy, then go to Google Tag Manager and tags. Here, click new, tag configuration, custom HTML and paste the code. Here are two places where you will need to do some configuration. The first one is domains to decorate. When we are on the landing page, this code could scan all the links on a page. And if that link redirects a visitor to some other domain, for example, this one in my case, then Google Tag Manager will decorate this link with UTMs from the current page. Basically, it will take these and will add them to particular URLs. I will be firing this code on gtmplayground.com, but I want to decorate all links here that redirect the visitor to this domain. So I will just copy this domain, then go to Google Tag Manager and I can paste it right here. If you have multiple domains that you want to decorate, for example, maybe there is another link like gtmcourse2.myshopify.com or something else, then you can list those domains right here. And if you want, you can add even more of them. In my case, I will need just one of them. So I will remove everything that is unnecessary. Then here I can list the parameters that I want to transfer. Right now there are UTM medium, source, UTM campaign, and then something else. This is just an example. If you have another parameter that you want to transfer, then you can enter that parameter's name here. For example, some test or something like that. But in this case, I don't need this, so I can remove it. If you are, on the other hand, using also things like UTM term or UTM content, you can add them as well. For example, UTM content and UTM term. This code right now will be looking for all links that belong to this domain. And then it will take the UTM medium, UTM source, campaign, content and term from the current page URL and add them to the links that redirect me to another page. Let's continue the configuration. Now we want this tag to fire only if URL actually contains this or this or this and so on. We don't want this to fire on all pages. This can be handled in the trigger. So let's scroll down to the triggering section, click triggering, then we will create a new trigger. So click plus, then in trigger configuration, click anywhere and select DOM ready. The reason why we're using DOM ready is because we want to manipulate the links when the website's document has been rendered. Here we will select some DOM ready events and we want to fire only then when page URL contains either UTM medium or UTM campaign and so on. This can be done with matches regex and we can also include ignore case, I guess, but it should not make much difference. And then we will enter UTM medium, then equals because all UTM mediums are followed by the equal sign. Then we enter pipe, which in regular expressions means or and then we enter UTM source equals or UTM campaign equals or UTM term equals or UTM content. Then let's name this trigger. 
and click Save. Then let's name this tag and click Save. Now let's see if this is working. Click Preview. In this field, we should enter the URL that contains the UTM parameters. So I will just enter a couple of them. If you want, you can test this with other parameters as well, such as UTM content, UTM term, and so on. And now I will click Connect. The page has been loaded. Here are my UTM parameters. And now if I do the right click on this link and inspect, I will see that now the URL is also decorated with the parameters taken from here. So UTM medium test is added here. The same applies to UTM source test. If I had multiple links on this page that redirect me to this GTM course domain, then all of them would be decorated. In fact, let me show you one more thing. I will now refresh the page. And here you will see that for a brief moment, gtmcourse.myshopify.com link was not decorated, but then thanks to the custom code, it was dynamically updated. Now, if I click here, the UTM parameters are also present right here. After I published this article a while ago, I noticed that some people use this solution to keep the UTM parameters in the URL on the same website. For example, if I go here and then I click on another internal link, they keep persisting the UTMs in the URL. Personally, I don't like this kind of approach because what's the point of polluting the UTM parameters across multiple pages of the same website? If you're thinking about improving the attribution of, let's say, Google Analytics, it will not help you in any way because Google Analytics handles traffic attribution automatically. And what's important is that the UTM parameters are available at the beginning of the session. But if you have some other reason why you want to persist UTM parameters somewhere and then have them available, let's say, on the third page view of the session, then you can investigate another ready-made solution, which is a custom tag template. So if you go to your Google Tag Manager, Templates, then in Tag Templates, click Search Gallery, and then look for Persist Campaign Data, you can add this template to the workspace and it will store the campaign data temporarily in a cookie. And on the third page view, for example, you can access that cookie and read the campaign data if you need it at that point. If you want to learn more about this template, then there are some useful links right here. This solution should be used if you are working on the same domain. It might be different subdomains, but at least the domain is the same. While in my case, I used my solution because the visitor's journey started here and then the user navigated to a different domain. So this is the main difference. And that's how you can transfer UTM parameters from one domain to another. The word transfer does sound a bit weird here. Basically, we took UTMs from one website and decorated links of the second website. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.